Welcome back, Dark Souls fans, to more Andromeda Dark Souls 3. Our main your host, Chad, if you're 333, and we remain in the Grand Archives. Probably gonna be another episode and a half here, but we'll see how it goes, because, quite frankly, my pace has been way faster than I expected. I was actually expecting this would be episode 25, 26, somewhere in that range. And in practice, it turned out to be more like, well, 23. So, honestly, I have no idea. Oh, crying out loud. Gonna get myself killed if I'm not careful here. Okay, so your guy, you've got him attack that got you all nice and immovable. Yeah, ha, there we go, okay. There should be more of you around here somewhere, but regardless, we are at the midpoint wax bath because, as mentioned before, that is standard procedure for library entrance. One must bathe their head in wax. As is custom. Alright, I know there's a switch I can open up to get to an area past where I am, but that might be a shortcut I need to access later. For instance, here, this is actually another shortcut. Well, sort of shortcut bit. Oh, never mind. I have a shortcut. Wow! Okay. Dodge that giant uh, ball of wax. And so, why are you guys not letting me hit you? Ah, you're being jerks. Like all thralls. They do not like thralls. Slave labor should be outlawed. The slaves are a pain in the butt. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Ah, that's higher DPS. There we go. They probably have pretty good magic res, to be quite frank. And, of course, you had to do that, didn't you? That's fine. I can backstab you. I will backstab you. And I won't regret it. Ow, wow. That was the worst possible roll. Some of these rolls are having a hard time... Be dealing with things and invasions. Okay, well, that's the thing that happens. Hopefully, I can open up a shortcut in the meantime. I mean, I don't expect to survive. I only have six Estus, and well, of course, honorable duels expect that you don't use Estus whatsoever. But I do want to have. Okay, no, never mind. I can't do that, apparently. Alright, fine. Let's see what you do. Ah, I do not like. Online play, the lag is a pain in the butt! Okay, this is why I don't like online play, because it's like, I... I genuinely don't know what kind of lag I can expect whenever dealing with this stuff. And I mean, I'm, I'm being nice by, of course, not... Uh, how do you even deal with this? I mean, I guess if people actually want to do proper proper stuff, they'll do it by way of, you know, actually organizing league type things, but I have no idea how to deal with the jumping. Like, the dude's jumping around. How do I... What do I do? I... I don't get PvP in this... I don't get the appeal of PvP in this game at all, to be honest. I've mentioned... Well, okay, not in this run, but... Blade Symphony is a much better... I mean, it's kind of dead, but it's a much better game if you want to do that kind of sword-based action combat system. I mean, it doesn't have any leveling or builds or anything. It's pretty straightforward combat. It's basically a fighting game. But to me, that is just a much better concept for how to build a game. Now, the only thing I found in Dark Souls 3 that's halfway decent for any kind of multiplayer is the DLC Undead match, which is actually pretty good. I mean, I'm going to give credit where it's due. All right, I can't move. But yeah, to give credit where it's due... The DLC match, or Undead match, is pretty cool. I quite like it. But that is one specific mode in the entire game. And as for the rest of the game, the combat just does not really work for me. I just don't find it as fun. But, whatever, that's the price of Embering up. You get the extra HP, you get the risk of being invaded. And presumably die. Sheesh. Just relentless. Well, regardless, so am I. So I guess turnabout is fair play. I will grant you. And also got back to my souls no problem because shortcuts. Because Dark Souls design. And, oh right, I didn't wax. I like I said, that's the that's the price of admission. Dunk your head and wax. I didn't pay for it. That's my bad. Wait, where was the wax bath? No, really, where was the there was the wax bath was like down there. Oh, it isn't. You know what? Forget it. I'll, I'll just... I'll make do. I'm 
I guess, yeah, I'm, I'm here, uninvited and unwelcome. But, meh. I'm fine with that. I'm aware that there's something over there. There's actually a few things over there. But this is a shortcut I was going for before I got invaded. Or at least I think it is. This is probably a shortcut. It's a bridge. It's got stuff past the bridge. It's definitely an area to go through or to or something. I know there's got to be something around here. And that's to get the Avalon. Which is the thing that was on the bookshelf. I I guess I could get it for completeness' sake, but I'm not using crossbows in this build, so I'm not really sure what the point is. And that is a shortcut. Because that's actually a shortcut back to that area in the... In the not Grand Archives, what's it called? The Lothar Castle. Oh, no, 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 this is, this is Grand Archives. This is right next to the opening bonfire? No, this is something completely different. Oh! Oh, right! No, this is within... Okay, now I know where we are. This is at the very bottom. And this is also a good shortcut. And there's also a thrall that doesn't seem to know how to get to where it wants to go. But that's fine. That's perfectly fine. It lets me backstab it and get it back a bit of HP. Because that's what we do here. So we cut things and then drain their HP. We're basically a vampire. Or at least we have a ring that basically makes us a vampire. Also, I have no idea how to get to over there. I think I have to drop off somewhere. Either that or I'm just about to get there. I actually am not sure. Anyway, with that shortcut... I see no reason not to approach that one area in the bookshelf that I was pretty sure I would need to explore. Because there's an area I kinda missed. Eh, kinda. Sorta. I mean, I'll show you in a sec where I mean. Because one of these bookshelves... Is it this one? Yeah, it's this one. One of these bookshelves has another Outrider Knight. I think I might have said the last time that was the last Outrider Knight. And no, it is in fact the second to last Outrider Knight. Oh. Okay, no, never mind. Also, Scholar Ring. Actually really handy for this build, surprisingly enough. I guess it's not that surprising, but, you know. Int boost on an int-based build. I guess I think of the rings as ways of making up for something your build lacks, but now that I think about it, it's actually probably a really good thing to have for maintaining... Hey, you know what? Screw it. I can just bow you. Ow. Uh, ah! There we go. That's an arrow to the face. And another arrow to the face. I should probably get more Moonlight Arrows. They're going to do a treat against these enemies. Yeah! There we go! Got into you! That is your death. So, that bookshelf is open, which is actually plenty nice. However, there should be one further up as well. And that was, in fact, the very shortcut I was looking for. But, like I said, there should be another one up here that leads to an Earth or an Outrider Knight. And I'm not sure that there is. Oh, never mind. That's what I'm looking for. And that's the Outrider Knight I'm looking for. And this is going to be a bit of a pain in the butt. Also, this area is clearly getting invaded a lot, so I might want to be careful. Oops. Not the best move. Okay, that's two. That's a three. That's... Ow. Well, it's... Close. Ah, shoot. There should be a third. No, oh, there it is. Duh, darn that delayed attack. It's one thing I don't like about Dark Souls 3 enemy design is that it's just... There are so many tells that are very similar. Which is, like... That's kind of unique to Dark Souls 3, honestly. I can't think of any other Souls game that does that. I mean, the Bloodborne Old Hunters DLC comes close. But even then, I never found it to be quite as annoying. That's actually more that it just happens to maintain the more reaction-oriented play that Dark Souls ended up or Dark Souls 3 ended up having as well. But then again, that's Bloodborne's design. Dark Souls 3, on the other hand, yeah, I don't know. That that the way the enemies have very similar attacks like that is a bit of a pain. But there are some really good designs as far as that goes. So, it varies. I mean, Abyss Watchers was one that has been talked about. And that... I mean, it's subtle. There are subtle design cues, and maybe there is one here, too. I mean, I should probably double-check. I mean, for all I know, the Outrider Knight, when it's done their combo, like, spews up a bunch of frost or something. Might be missing something about how it does it. I expect that I probably am. But at the same time, it's very difficult to tell. Okay, and then let's just get myself... I don't know if I to put all the stealth spells on. 
Like, what would happen? Like, it can't easily see me or hear me. Oh, I can get a bunch of free hits in. Oh, whoa, what? Did it just guess? Oh. Maybe my previous comments about hidden body being useless were actually... Ow. Not completely accurate to the reality of things. Okay. Ugh! Come on, give me room to heal, you jerk. Well, I'd love to invade another world, but quite frankly, I can't. Well, at least you know that... Ah, oh, shoot. At least you know that Hidden Body has more use than I thought it did. But at the very least, I can sneak up on this thing with Spooking Hidden Body, which is very nice. Also grab my souls. Like I said, I'm not sure it affects the targeting algorithm. It seems to somewhat... Oh, okay. I mean, I put on the drag the lingering dragon crest ring because I want to see if it how it affects things when it can't see me. Which is honestly kind of unclear. Okay. Well I mean, my previous comments about combos being done are darn it! How is it out of range? <sighs> Ugh, why can't this game be in proper 3D? Anyone who says that the 3ES three, the three and similar systems are worthless is completely full of shit. Because in that situation, I would have been able to tell how far away the thing was. I cannot believe how much trouble this thing is continuing to cause me. Oh wow, okay, so it doesn't see me at all with hidden body. Ah, except it can eventually kind of see me. Okay, so yeah, it, it targets where I was last time it thinks it saw me. But it doesn't actually target well. That's pretty cool. I'm glad, like, that's a really good piece of data. I just wish I would actually win this instead of die again embarrassingly. Because I can't judge ranges. Do I do this? Ah, there we go. Finally. Oh, I got the Outrider stuff too. Okay, so I guess you have to kill all three of them. Maybe just this one. Who knows? But hey, I wonder what it's like in terms of weight and power, and it's not good enough. Okay, well that kind of sucks. Especially since I actually have to switch back to what I had before, which was Drang Gauntlets. Although, what's the Outrider Knight leggings like? Oh boy, that's heavy. I mean, it's hard to say. Pond of Titan Dancer's leggings are really efficient for their weight. And, yeah, comparatively, Outrider Knight is better, but not for the weight. And dancers I almost... Oh, wait, dancers I can use. Oh, right, I'm optimizing for magic, that's why. I could use either, but... Right. Pondo Knight has slightly better magic defense. Also, Soul Stream! Hey, actually, can I cast that? Can I cast that? What is the level requirement for that spell? It is 45, which I don't plan to get. Shoot. Higher than I intend. I intend to go up to 40. I'm actually end up less than that, but I intended to go up to 40 with intelligence. Although, that being said, I do have the ring that increases intelligence by 5, so once I get to 40, I can make it 45 with the ring if I really wanted to use Soul Stream. I have ways! Okay, cool. Actually, come to think of it, between all my rings, I could probably get... I mean, the thing is, all the rings together, because I think I have all but one, because you have the, the Knight Ring, the Scholar Ring, and that's 5 each, the Prisoner's Chain, which is also 5 each. Overall, you can effectively have a level 145 character using the rings. Granted, that's 3 ring slots and your HP is worse. But, that is still extra ring, or extra stats, effectively. Compared to a level 120 build, I mean. Like, if you were to go for a pure 120 build, the downside is your absorption is not going to be quite as good as it would be. I think it drops by 10%. And your... I mean, double check if I do that. So I drop over to the... Prisoner's Chain, you'll see my absorption goes from 20... Okay, it drops by about 5%. It's a bit difficult to tell because of the way that the percentages are calculated. They're actually multiplied together. So actually, it could be dropping as much as 20%, considering how much it reduces everything. Anyway. Spock. Hidden Bodhi. Great Majaik Weepin. And then, more stabbing of the backs. Down you go! Possibly, maybe, it, no, sadly no. Yes! Eventually, yes! Okay, good, a death blind, and I just realized I'm 
pretty close to being full up on souls for leveling. Also, can I drop down here? Not without dying. Is there anywhere else I can go from here? I think that I might have gone down a dead end. Well, that is mildly annoying. No, seriously, why is this here? I might be missing a ladder. That often happens. It's not unheard of for me to miss ladders. I'm missing a roof. Oh, okay, no, this is a return path. Okay, that makes sense. I am going the wrong way. Which means the right way likely involves going up there, because I think I actually have to break a window on that side. Alright. That's fine. We're done with this side anyway. Let's go to the other side. Deal with that. I expect that I will probably end this off sometime before the boss fight, because this area is giant. So I seriously expect that I'm going to be spending a fair amount of time just getting through here, and then getting to the next area. Oh, right! I didn't wax myself. Hang on. Just, I'll kill you now. There we go. Because I have ways and means of killing at range. And then... get rid of you. And then suddenly find myself invading another world, which is pretty cool. Alright, we can do the Watchdog of Farron thing! Which I've had here for... ever. And haven't had a chance to actually show off, because it hasn't come up successfully. So let's see how I work as an invader, because I have proven time and time again I am not a very good invadee. All right. Trespasser hunt. Oh, yeah. That's why. Watchdog of Farron. Also, Moses. So it's 2v1. And the enemies are on my side. Can I kill them? No, I can't. Okay, there's no, no soul of the giant tree. Let's see. Where are the enemies going to? There. No, that's my, that's my ally. Where the heck is my target? I must hunt you. I must reduce you to fine paste. Actually, you know what? Hidden body. Wow, a lot of dark spirits are invading here. Hidden body and spook. Where are ya? Oh, wait, there they are. Oh, and my hidden body ran out. Well, that's just perfect. All right, fine, whatever. Hidden body! Wait, what the heck's here? Oh, what? Okay, well, that's interesting. Oh. Duty fulfilled. Okay, why is there... But the host of embers didn't die. Well, that was bizarre. Okay, so that's five people all in one room, or all in one swamp. That's what the Watchdog of Farron does. That was a remarkably bizarre event. Anyway, continuing along with the Grand Archives, which I have now gone a little further into. I'm pretty sure all these things, yes, they are. They are all cursed. Okay, where's the nearest wax bath? Is it up here? No. That is entirely a wrong answer. In fact, this is not a great area to be to begin with. Ow. Is it in here? I actually have no idea since I kind of went halfway in here and then got whisked away to the forest. I'm... Okay, that's not going to work. Uh, where is the nearest wax bath? This is the outside area. Well, I know where the nearest wax bath is, and it's a ways away. All right, now that I have the wax, now I can deal with most of that stuff over there. Because I need wax for that. Because bookshelves. Bookshelves with cursy hands that make you not want to read books. Darn those bookshelves for... Or books and bookshelves for promoting illiteracy. Rather for making literacy seem like a matter of dying. Or a matter of life and death. Not with wax, you don't. Maybe the library should reconsider some of its policies. I mean, you know, late fees, maybe? Or you just... Like... Getting rid of a... Well, I mean, X is really all you have. Seems kind of cruel to have hands come out and basically turn anyone to stone if they haven't got the proper paperwork and everything. But, hey, what do I know? I've never run a library. Ah. Maybe these books are really bad to read. 
Ooh, Fleshbite Ring. And Twinkling Titanite. And a gem. Fleshbite Ring, I think, is essentially a universal everything's resistance up. Yes, everything resistance up by 40. That's not bad. I don't see the point right now, but it's good to know. And this, this is the outside area he's talking about. And when I said there was a big outside area I have to deal with, this is actually just part of the outside area I was talking about, and it's going to be a bit tricky. In fact, I should probably... Oh, well, not quite what I wanted to do, but that works too. I should probably set this up, because I'm going to be fighting some pretty tough enemies in a second. A lot of the gargoyles. Yeah, remember these guys? From main capital? I mean, actually, these guys I never really found to be too challenging. Especially when they forget how to fly. Which I imagine is very embarrassing. Oh well. Do I have to deal with that at some point? Or because, you know, I expected a death blind. Yep. Yeah, death blind. Okay. Well. I guess they can only fly I guess they only jump. I mean, we thought gargoyles flew, but it turns out they jump once and then they forget to use their wings entirely. Oh well. Shame for it. Ow! I dodged that. Oh well. Yeah. Yeah. Everything's always too far away. What? I dodged that. I did, uh. Okay, maybe I was in the middle of another attack. I couldn't dodge it. I'll grant that much. Ah. Man, your wing is annoying. I don't think that wall's gonna do me any good, and I'd be correct. Actually, it does do me a bit of good. Where is it? Ah, there it is. Ha! Now I've got you! I got you dead. Alright. I thought there were winged knights. I might be right. There might still be winged knights. It's just, that's clearly not my biggest priority at the moment. Biggest priority is the apparently completely inert titanite lizards. Oh, crying out loud. Oh. Or it just drops to his death and gives me a sharp gem. Also good. Are you coming down here? Yes, you are. And you have the hammer, which is, to me, the easier weapon to deal with. But what do I know? Apparently I'd be wrong, but apparently you also forget how to fly very easily. So, yeah. My point stands. The hammer wielders are easier to deal with. Nah, I probably need the Titan Lizard. So, with that out of the way, I think that... Oh! Does that lead me up to the higher section? Not effective... Oh, wait, no, yes. Yes! Oh. Okay, so there's an area back here I, m I might have missed. This is a very large and, frankly, quite confusing rooftop section. And there are some areas to jump to, some areas you can easily miss if you just turn the wrong way, a lot of hidden bits... And, yeah, this is one of those semi-hidden bits, and I don't remember exactly how this is arranged. Because if I go down here, I have to wrap around, but I guess magic of editing and all that, I don't have to worry about it too much. Oh, wait, this opens a shortcut. Oh, this is good. This is not so good. It's a Lothric... Oh, wait, no, I can deal with Lothric Knights. Done these guys before. It's fine. Ow. Except I have to actually, you know, not be hit. Ah! Thought I'd be able to avoid that. Oh, whatever. Ah. Come on! I don't want to hit your block! I want to backstab you! Perfect! Okay, there we go. And then if I do this strong attack, I should be able to stagger into death. There we go. That is actually a technique I learned playing Bloodborne. It's more effective in Bloodborne because you use a charged heavy attack to initiate the backstab animation. So essentially, you parry somebody, or you backstab them, and then you do a charge... You do a charge heavy attack, and that'll get you the backstab as they get up, and you can chain backstabs that way. It's a really useful technique. It's kind of cheesy, but the best techniques are. Oh, okay, I know where I am. This is actually where I was expecting I would probably end the episode, and at this point, I don't know. There's more to be explored outside, so... I might indeed end the episode here, especially if I'm doing more invasions. Yep, and I'm doing more invasions. At least, at least they're working this time. 
Da! Okay, well, not sure what I'm going to do regarding filming this. In fact, I might switch out the covenant. I'm not sure how this is going to work. Okay, you're the hunter. Weird, why aren't you doing anything with me? Okay, well, you're the host of embers, so I need you dead. Darn it. How can you see me when I'm set up like this? Darn it. I wish someone would tell me how to do PvP in this game. I'm not going to figure it out on my own. There's too much... There's too much weird things going on in PvP. Honestly, I don't have any idea what I'm doing wrong. All I know is that I'm not doing anything. Like, I can't hit anything, and I can't tell when things are happening. It's like, I, I don't even know. Hey, just, I don't know. I, I don't even know why I would bother. I don't like PvP in this game. Oh. Dunghead. Oh, that's where it saved me. Okay. Well, how many Estus Flasks do I have? Six. No, I'm just going to... This Watchdog of Farron thing, it was kind of neat to test it because it wasn't working. Nothing was happening before. At this point, I... I don't know. Sure, Rosaria's Fingers, why not? I I mean, I finished Cirrus' quest, so I don't think it really matters. No one's going to get mad at me for... If I were to invade someone and actually su successfully kill them, which we've established is an extremely difficult task for me to do... I guess I would get some rewards for it. Hey, Undead Bone Shard! Nice, get to boost my SS Flask. Been a long time since that's been possible. And there's the shortcut. This here ladder. Super important ladder. This is actually the very reason I realized this was the way to go. Because this way, if I want to, I can go deal with the other rooftop stuff. Okay, this is a different rooftop. This is not the rooftop I was looking at with the black hand stuff. This is... This is just a rooftop. Did I miss something? No, no, it looks like I didn't miss anything. Not much down there either. Well, okay then. Decoration and fighting, I suppose. So, from here... Unless I want to fight those black hand dudes, I'm kind of stuck, and I don't really want to fight them yet. Eventually, yes. Not right now. Right now, I want to continue on the outside wall. Probably finish off the Black Hand dudes, because they actually are kind of the second to last leg of this entire area. Once you fight them, then there is a straight round for the boss, although it's basically Boletaria 1 1 from Demon Souls. And the. And then the rest of it, there's a side area where you get some miracles, and you get. You fight a bunch of winged knights, and I do plan to go there. You get a Titanite slab there, actually. And I could use one of those. But that will be in the next episode, from the looks of it. It looks like this is going to be ending off with me fighting the Black Hand, as I expected. And then I will continue on, and next episode will be the last episode of the base game. So yeah, we're just about at DLC. And once I get through this, then it's... Yeah, then it's all the DLC content, and then once the DLC content is done, then that is it. And I guess there's another one of them gargoyles. Who I did not successfully kill. Nope. Apparently they remembered how to fly, too. At least long enough. Oh, never mind. No, 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 Right, because the, the state of the entire game restarted. Which means that it would have been reset back to the position they were at earlier, which is the position that allows them to get to me. And be an absolute pain in the butt. Eh. Maybe? No, they're good. They're done. I can continue along here and fight the winged knights that will follow. Because, trust me, Winged Knights will, of course, fall. Oh, not Winged Knights. Really? More of the Gargoyles? I thought there was the... Wow. Okay, I guess I just completely forgot everything about this area. I... I mean, I remember there being two of things. I remember they had wings. I mean, that much clearly was correct. It, I got it partially right. It's just exactly what those things were and how much of a pain in the butt they are to fight because they have that stupid unbreakable guard. Uh, and I can't see shit because they fly. Okay, well, I might be able to do this. Like, this is kind of me going off blind of... Kind of luck. 
Kind of luck, kind of intuition. Not really conscious use of my eyesight and other faculties. My senses were basically being used subconsciously there, but I managed after a fashion. I'm almost out of magic. But that's fine. We got through a double fight. I don't recall if there are more than one double fight in this area. I kind of doubt it. It feels like the sort of final challenge they do before giving you the last bit that you go, okay, well, this is it. This is the, this is the area. Oh, that's what that area is. It's the landing point for this whole rooftop excursion. Well, I see. Then why did I need to do the rooftop excursion exactly? I guess items. I mean, items are a good reason. All right, so the rooftop excursion was far less relevant than I thought it would be. Well, drop down, and we had the shortcut open, we had the other stuff open, and that leads nowhere. And that thing's dead. I am currently unwaxed, but I kind of don't care. However, I'm also on the verge of death, or at least on the verge of running out of Estus. And about that, I do care considerably, because this area is not an easy spot to get through. So, shortcut usage time! Alright, now for the- ow! Shortcuttery! Up the ladder and hopefully not getting hit by spells in the process. That hope is ill-founded! I think if I run out of stamina, I end up- oops. I think if I run out of stamina, I end up actually getting completely knocked off the ladder. Anyway, head and wax just in case. I don't think there's any more weird cursed bookshelf stuff, but quite honestly, I don't really care to find out. So, let's not do so. Okay, back to magic weapon. I think these two will be enough. Because we've got a bit of a challenge up ahead. That is those three. Actually, they don't even notice I'm here. Hidden body is awesome! Okay, so there's a limit to... Oh, never mind. I ran out. It's awesome when it still exists. It, it has a very short last... Or very short... cat or Duration, that's the word I'm looking for. Ah. Okay, well, I think I can actually nail the caster, and I think I can't remember if these are ones you have to kill all at once, or if killing any one of them will keep them dead forever. Wow, I didn't expect Crystal Hill to actually do anything. Ow. Well, that was a poor choice of action. Ah, oh, come on. Yes! There we go! If I can nail the caster, then I get rid of my main rival in this group. And the rest of you can just die whenever you feel like it. Okay. Ow. Thought I would actually get around that. So the next one's clearly the axe wielder, because the katana wielder is a pain in the butt, and I could probably avoid most of what the other one's doing. Although, to be fair, maybe not, maybe so, hard to say. Ow. Okay, that was that was poor the timing on my bit. Uh, that was my bad, poor timing in my part. That's the word I'm looking for. Words I'm looking for. Oh, wow! The AI actually got smacked into a wall! That's a first! Right as I die! But hey! The AI actually played by the rules of wall collision! I have never seen an AI enemy actually have to deal with the walls before. I feel somehow vindicated. My constant issues with walls, the bane of my existence in this game, have at least been shown to not be uniquely my own. Which makes me feel a bit better. Even though I did die and I don't have to deal with the spellcaster again. I mean, I'm not, probably not going to get anything off the spellcaster again since they dropped their staff, which is likely going to be a pretty useful staff if I were to use it. But again, I like fast staffs. Ooh, oh wow, that scales really well with intelligence. Good spell buff too. And otherwise, it is... Oh, increases potency of sorceries at the cost of increased FP consumption. For skills. Ooh, that is not good for my build. Unless it doesn't do that when it's equipped. Like, if it doesn't... Sorry, when it's not being actively used. Because the thing to bear in mind is most of my build is quick step. Like, that is a massive portion of my build is... Getting quick step to work for me, and this wax is a pain in the butt. 
But yeah, with Quick Step, or without Quick Step, or with increased FP consumption on Quick Step, that would just be painful. Uh, I keep getting waxed. Not in the good way. Oh, good. Didn't last long enough to matter. So yeah, in this case, I guess I have to deal with at least two of them. I think I have to deal with all three. I don't recall there being the permanent death of these guys. Okay, so one thing I'm going to do, because I, when, again, don't really need this. Lingering Dragon Crest Ring is very handy for Hidden Body. And Hidden Body is apparently very handy for actually doing stuff. I'm genuinely surprised. I did not expect Hidden Body to be of use. And I was right. No, I was wrong! Spellcaster's dead. Okay, cool. So I can just get rid of this dude. Who can't even see, or can barely see me. And is the only one who can see me, and their friend thinks that they're fighting a ghost. Damn it, this is why I wasn't fighting them in the first place. Their range is ridiculous. Like, I can't easily touch them because their range is so ridiculous, and I just realized I'm missing my souls. I'm gonna grab those. Also, I'm gonna hang around the statue, because we've shown these are clearly the only enemies in the game who share my pain when it comes to walls! Ah, oh, come on. Yes! Ow. Oh, well, I could have parried you. Well, not parried you, I could have reposted you. Ha! Ah! What? How did the... How the heck? Oh, never mind, I got an arrow in the back, that's why. Because their friend is an archer, and that means I can't be too careless, otherwise I will get shot in the back, which is why I was kind of hoping to kill them first. And acutely aware that's probably not going to happen. Oh, what kind of bow is that? Oh, that's a short bow. That's right, that's the short bow art. That's perfectly normal. Ha! Yes! Oh, pff, darn it. Oh, wow. That works, too. Got you in the jump attack. Ah, you jerk. You had to heal up, didn't you? No, I wanted to backstab you. Ah, no, that's not going to work. This might. Getting pretty close. Just need to avoid getting shot by shortbow guy there. Because I think it's a shortbow. Because you get his swords when you kill him. So I don't think there's a way to get the shortbow as well. Unless there's something I'm missing with something you can get off of ashes or some other means of gaining weapons. Why am I attacking, not kicking? Oh, yeah, right, because I'm worried about the guy right behind me who's going to be shooting me with arrows if I'm not careful. No, I wanted to kick you. There we go. No! Yes! Oh, iframes! Repost iframes! Save my life! Now it's one-on-one. -on -one. And I've got you more or less dead to rights. I wonder if Hidden Body works once they kind of know that I exist. What? Oh. That's what I wanted to do. It does not. Okay, now once they have my once they have a beat on me, I'm kind of hooped. Or no, I'm not hooped. I just can't be too close. Oh, that is nice. I mean, I was thinking hidden body was useless because in an earlier run that wasn't filmed, I mean, I put the fight with the abyss watchers of that run onto you as a hidden video, which I linked in the previous video. I want to link this one, but I had a, you know screw it. I have, I have better weapons for this situation. Anyway, I tried using Hidden Body there to avoid the attention of the of the Deacons of the Deep in order to get past them and start shooting at them because that was the absolute worst boss fight for a pure range build. Okay, I cannot find an opening. What the heck? How, you you aren't doing anything. You're, you're in the air. That should be the most vulnerable time, not invulnerability. Well, you know what? Fine. To be fair, you do have a double sword. I want to use that. Which is actually, you're the one I want to kill the most now that I think about it. Alright, fine. We're not fighting Honorable Duel. I realize that. Actually, to be honest, your entire build is pretty cool by my standards. Ah! If you just stop hitting me! God, that's so annoying. Okay, good. I got you. And I think you're out of Estus because most AI enemies have only two Estus flasks, and then so am I. Yes, you are! Okay, good. Shield your fate. <sighs> okay, well, that's fine. I can deal with you if you do that. Yeah, there we go. No! Why is that damp? Why are those iframes? That does not make sense to me. You are in the air. You aren't not iframes. You're damage frames. Why is there a hitbox on the jump? I mean, I know that I can. if I hit it with a stray shot from a far enough distance, I will hit you. 
It's just, for some reason, you hit me when you do that, which I can't understand. Like, if you do a jumping attack, you don't get that luxury. You know what? Screw it. Why am I... I'll fight you with the same means you're fighting me. What are you gonna do about it, huh? What are you gonna do about it? You're gonna do nothing! You're gonna die! That's what I thought. Onikuri Undadachi. That is a double cursor, or double katana, actually. And I can't use it because I need one more strength. Ah! I don't want to put a level in strength at this point. Yeah, they, they do the thing. Which, the weirdly invulnerable jumping attack. Like I said, if I were to do this, I could, I'm pretty sure I could be interrupted at any point during that attack. And that's just a weird way of doing the weapon. But at any rate, that, that's that been dealt with. And yeah, for those of you wondering, this is the final run-up. That's... Back there is the area talking about the rooftops, and that's the boss fight. That is the final boss fight before, well, the second to last boss fight in the game, which will be the subject of the next episode after dealing with the detour that comes up from this staircase. And then after that, Soul Cinder, and then after that, the base game is done in 24 episodes of varying length. But for now, this is the end of episode 23, the penultimate episode of the base game, as we find that shortcut. That elevator that we saw right next to the bonfire all that time ago. Which actually reminds me, I still haven't found where that elevator is for the area inside of Lothric Castle. Unless that's this. Hang on. Because I think I saw an elevator over here, didn't I? No, I'm thinking of a different elevator. Alright, well, then that's a bit of a shame. Some of these elevators have, like, two parts to them, and this apparently is not one of them. Maybe the one inside. I don't know. Anyway, no, that doesn't make any sense because that that elevator is over there. Oh, I know where it is. There's an elevator right next to the boss fight, and that's the elevator I'm I'm thinking of. Anyway, for now though, thank you for watching, and until next time, enjoy stuff.